132. All right, welcome everyone. Eugene here. You built your cool ass little board track bike or your rat bike. You want a vintage look on your grips because you don't like these cheesy little grips that come with the kit. Okay, check this out right here. See these cloth grips here? Yep. I'm going to show you how to do them today. Um, it's not that hard. Basically, what you're going to need to do is get you some cheesecloth. Get your hands on some shellac. Okay. And some leather stain. Now, this here is pretty doggone dark. This is the medium brown. You put enough of it on, it looks almost black. But you, you go light on it. We can lighten it up. Or as well, you can go with the light brown stain. Check the links down below. I'll show you where you can get everything here. Um, now, the cheesy little uh, plastic throttle housing that comes with the kit, you can use that or you have some options, okay? Man's got to have options. I recommend the 7 8 inch MGO throttle assembly here. With some modifications, you can make it fit, adapt to the motorized, the stock motorized throttle cable here. Basically, you need to get you an 11 30 seconds drill. Drill out this little bad boy here where the cable goes in. Get you a 10 millimeter by 1.25 tap. Tap it out and you can put the, put the stock throttle cable in there. Or if you don't want to mess with that, check the link down below. I'll sell you one of these bad boys here. They're not that expensive. Another option is this right here. See that right there, the, le the old style lever? There, you can adapt that to your throttle cable as well. Uh, I'll do a video about that here in the future, but uh, that, that, that's coming up soon here. Okay, so one thing you're going to want to do here, if you're going to use the stock plastic throttle housing here, um, what you're going to want to do is cut off The rubber grip and toss it. Now when you wrap it, you want to be careful to leave yourself a gap. So this area from here, that way, you don't want to get any of the shellac on it and you don't want to get any of the, uh, the cheesecloth here. And just wrap it obviously from there over. The metal one here, you do the same thing with. But the, the wrapping is, is the same regardless if you're putting it on the, the plastic, the, the throttle side, or on just the bar itself. Now, I'm going to put it just on this uh, bar here. So you're going to take the cheesecloth here. You're going to cut it into strips, oh, about two, three fingers wide, okay? Um, if it looks a little... Uh, little irregular and rustic. Hey, to me, that adds to the effect, right? I got some shellac here. Let's pour some shellac in. We're going to mix just a dab of this stuff here. And I tell you what, before you go handling your leather stain, get you some gloves on. I uh, hope you, you can get access to gloves. Uh, don't go beating up a healthcare worker. That Lord knows they need all the help they can get with this damn COVID-19 mess going on. Okay, so this stuff here is potent. This is leather stain, but boys and girls, it'll stain your ass too, I promise, okay? So we got it mixed up there, right? Good and dark. There we go. All right, so we're going to take it, get the end of it here, and uh, yeah, you're going to be dripping all over the place. Basically, as long as you get some of the shellac on your bar, you're going to be good. Now, I'm probably going to walk away from this today with some of this... Uh, shellac and leather stain behind my ears. You can leave it doubled up or take your time, do a single layer, 
Now, some of the bars, I like to do it where it's nice and thick in the middle. And that's the way we're going to do these here. Now, if you want, you can just go ahead and call this a day right there. Just like that. Wipe off your excess and you're cruising down the road. But if you want to build it up nice and thick, keep going. Now, when you cut your cheesecloth into strips, you can just go ahead and tie it together. Let me show you what happens when you do that. Like I said, don't be afraid to put it on dry. Then you come back and wet it, or if you want, you can just dip it in the shellac leather stain mixture. Now we've got the, the knot there, just cut off the excess. And if you want to, just go ahead and take the end of it and stick it in the bars if you like. Now on the throttle assembly, you don't, you don't want to do that. If you stick, stick it in too far, it'll, it'll uh, make it difficult to put the throttle grip on the, uh, onto the bar. Let it dry overnight. You come back, and if it still feels like it's got a little bit too much give on it, Put another coat of shellac on it, but this stuff here, once you get a couple of coats, a, a coat, a good thick coat, or a couple of light coats of shellac on it, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. And there you go. This is how you do a nice, cool looking vintage cloth covering on your bars, on your throttle grips. Now, speaking of bars, if you're interested, I can do board track bars for you. Check the link down below for information. Basically, it's $50 plus shipping. Um, 7 8 inch round bars, 1 inch round bars. We can do a 90 degree curve on the ends like we got in the picture here, or we can do 60 or 45, 50 bucks plus shipping. If you like the video, give me one of them big fat thumbs up. See that button that says subscribe? You want to see my new stuff coming up? There's more to come. Hey, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Bye now. Y'all take care.